Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind adopting some kids and training them. Cause I weird thing to say right after talking well, dude, about my, CI and, yeah, and, right. and <laughs> sissies. And... One of my dreams on Earth is to make a super soldier. Yeah. Or or a Manchurian candidate. Yeah. And if it was from my own DNA, no, because they're I'm raising a a godchild. Yeah. But if I adopt a child, 100 percent mind slave, <laughs> Manchurian candidate, uh -huh. super soldier. It's, I would love to do that. Yeah. You know, because why not? Why are we why are we sissifying the kids when we can make them into professional killers? Mm. That's what we need in this world. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know enough about Manchurian candidates. I know what it is, but that's more your thing, you know? Yeah, dude, the crazy thing, I've been on this shit since I was, like, in middle school. You always, you th always he talks been... about Manchurian can every other day. I mean, I'm just kind of like, oh, God. This is I've been obsessed with hypnotizing people yeah. and making them kill people for yeah. years, you know? Because, I, like I said, I remember, like I said, during the cloning days, middle the school. The Clinton days or the, the cloning? cloning days, oh. <laughs> the Clinton days, well, this was right after the Clinton days, but the cloning days, George W. Bush, remember Dolly the Sheep? No. So they were cloning. They were like, there was a big issue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With I all yeah, the yeah. stupid evangelical Christians about cloning and like, is cloning right or wrong? Yeah, I and I that. used to think, I would clone myself, mm -hmm. fuck myself, yeah. and beat the shit out of them, turn them into a slave. Right. I would love to do that. You wouldn't hang out with your clone. You would no. Just, you I would, would sexually them. abuse them. I would sexually abuse my clone and yeah. torture them. I what if they sexually that. abused you though? They can't. What if they did though? Because I'm their creator. No, what if they were like, no, I'm the real... They wanted to take over. So they came out, and they were they were excessively strong, and yeah. I could not... That'd be crazy. Yeah. See, yeah. that's where we're at with, like, AI at the moment. Oh, moment. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> you are dumb and gay. <laughs> no, really, we're, that's where we're at that moment with uh, uh, kind of AI, if you think about it. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like our sex clone of ourselves that we're going to fucking torture. I know. That's but where the AI going. is going to come back and be stronger than us and take over us. So we're like in this weird paradox. You know, it's the same. It's the I, same thing. I'm hoping I'm dead by the time AI gets good enough to like well, dude, dude, sexually you, gratify you. You know what I mean? Like where uh, you don't even need a woman. It's yeah. just, you just use AI. Well, dude, I've and, noticed. Okay. What, what happened? This is uh, what? June of 2024. Sure. Within the last few weeks, you Google search anything. The first thing is the AI generated response. Uh-huh. Uh, pharmaceutical ads, I saw one last night. The whole thing, the people, the whole scenery, I know was AI. Nothing about it seemed real at all. Yeah. And I've and I've also noticed in newscast when they... Oh, that's all going by the wayside. Oh, yeah, because yeah, there was yeah, a clip about, oh, the Ukrainian nightlife, how great it is, and don't worry, the, like, whatever's going on, it's perfect, mm -hmm. all these clubs. And it, you could tell it was an AI voice. So, dude, it's the yeah, future it's, is really it's looking bleak. I mean, old country really buffet is, is going out of business, and you know we can't even. Oh, that's like, a big deal too. I know, right? That's I called yeah, you gonna go, Like, oh, dude, I'll tell you about that. Think about the future is not fat people won't be around because everyone's gonna starve to death. Fat people are screwed. Well, actually, I thought the future was that everybody's gonna get fat because no, like, no, they're nobody cut... will be working jobs anymore, and there'll be too much food. No, 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 no. They're cutting off the food supply oh. on top of getting rid of the jobs. Yeah. So in all reality. We should just start eating fat people. Oh yeah, I know you've been talking. Like, about Like, imagine that, for years. that fat fuck we just watched that got the Furby. Yeah, he could he'd feed if he could feed a family for like a month. Yeah, he'd be delicious. He probably weighed four hundred fifty pounds. Yeah, imagine all that fat. I would love to eat human meat. I that's what, dude, That's why I'm trying to lose weight because, like, I know I'm getting chunky. You know. Yeah, yeah. I have been getting chunky. I've if noticed. you had the opportunity to eat human meat, would you do it? Um, depends. See, I don't know. I depends on how much I liked them or if I. I feel like if I hated a person, I couldn't eat them. Oh, you, but you, if I liked them, I would want to eat them. You're like think a so? fucking woman. I really just, am. Yeah, for real. I would love to eat human meat. I'd love to plunge an ice pick to someone's skull. That's why I always eat their brains. I always I thought I caught you putting salt on me the other yeah, day. Right? <laughs> you're just sitting there, I'm just like, hey. And you're like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Derek's always got ketchup in his I really holster. do. I really wonder what human meat does taste yeah, like. Probably, I would be delicious too. What if, what, I got I got that natural olive like yeah. slick to me. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Uh -huh. I would taste like a salad. Yeah, and you're like your your muscle structure of your body's mm -hmm. real soft because you yeah. don't work out. You That's just right. sit there and draw like a goof. You know. <laughs> Like you, it's like a cat. It's like a veal. Yeah, like a baby cat. Right. Like a cat. I would taste like, like a, veal. Yeah. You would taste like veal. Yeah, you would taste like hot dogs, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. cheap hot dogs cheap from, hot a, from dogs a gas station that are that aren't even meat. It's just rubber. Yeah. Like yeah, because my whole body's destroyed at this point in time. I look like a hot dog. Look at this. Yeah, you look do. at me. And I've been because I rode on the bike trail yesterday for like ten hours. With just, hot dog glasses. Yeah, I yeah. look like a legitimate hot dog. I, I, I look like a bowl of salad. 
Yeah. Yeah, you always you've yeah. always done so. <laughs> Dude, you my really face, look how greasy you are. I am, dude, at look the how end, fucking greasy at you the are. End of the this day, <laughs> at the end of the day, I am so like greasy. I would, dude, I don't even touch. I bet if I touched that, I couldn't even get that off my hands at this point. If you had some bread right now, I would recommend rubbing it on my face. I bet it would actually some, taste good. It tastes like olive oil. I know it would. Yeah. Dude, you're so greasy. I, I look know. like a hot dog. You're so greasy. I am. Shiny. Oh, my. You, ever, you should start using uh, like talcum powder. Why? It tastes good. Well, you. Because eventually you're going to start looking like a crazy freak dripping oil down your face and shit. I mean, that looks, also looks insane. So, yeah, you're doing your little business. Yeah, yeah. And people are going to come like, I don't want to get a drawing done by someone who looks a like greasy they man. dumped it with motor oil. Right. I d- dude, <laughs> I could do, like, if I work, even if I work in an office all day, like a, in an air-conditioned environment, by 4 o'clock, I'm, like, slick and oily. Wow. It's really yeah. unusual. I don't dude, know Dude, it's weird. I'm not. What it is. The only way I will sweat if it's sauna-level conditions. And I don't get oily, but I do. I will. I'll become black if I just stay on the sun. Yeah. I really will become like I look like right now. I'm in hot dog phase. You know, I'm I real, legitimately look like a hot dog. That's insane. And it's weird. I took a shower just a few hours ago, but I think that big when you called me earlier and I was taking that big old dump. Oh yeah. that big dump I was telling you about. Uh-huh. I was sweating my balls off. Oh, you actually, know. this is you have a good dump story from yeah. today, and then I have also yesterday. Talk about this shit. I took such a massive dump. No in the, pun intended. Yeah, no shit. I took such a massive dump. Saturday okay. morning, that I I knew it was going to be a toilet clogger, okay. and this is a clog-proof toilet, as I've explained in previous videos. <laughs> yeah, so what episode. I had to do, because I knew from right off the bat, because if you don't do this, you're really fucked. Yeah. Sometimes I pick it up, I put it into a bag and throw it in the trash can. So this time, I actually pulled Stupid. all the shit out of the um the hole of the toilet, and yeah. I held it, and then I flushed it, and I would just let a few a little bit of it go down. Wait again, flush it again. So I'm just holding all my shit mm-hmm. in my hand and just slowly letting it go down the drain. No gloves, no nothing. Yeah. And I was just thinking, God, this would be. I want to meet a woman that has <laughs> shit like this, and I want to play with it like this, like it's Play-Doh. Oh, God, do you really? Yeah, that'd be so great. I can never tell. See, if it's I could or if it's no, because here's the thing, though. I could tell what a woman's bowel movement looks like based off her hair, hair color okay. and her eyes. I could see it in really? her eyes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, because some people I'm just disgusted by because I'm like, you got foul, wretched shit. Right, okay. There's something wrong with your gut biome. Are you turned on by a girl that's, like, hot but could take a big dump? Or you That's want... it. Okay. That's the essence. Like you, I, when I yeah. say big dump, like a, like a log? Like, you want lo- long? Yeah, like big logs that okay. you hold and you're like, this has fucking weight to it. This is oh, impressive. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So she's, okay. But yeah. not you don't want soupy. No, soup. See, it's my such standard, a weird. Did you ever? Is, did you ever? Uh, like when you were with? Uh, well, let's not say her name, but yeah. when you were with, uh, we'll call her Veronica. I, yeah, Veronica. Uh, <laughs> did you ever ask her if? Uh, I would joke around, but do you think she did? She know your fetish for poop? I don't. I don't think anyone really could uh, comprehend this level of depravity. You did, know? did she? But did it's she, not even depravity. In all reality, trust me, guys. If you if you got into it, girls, to impress your man, you start start throwing around the feces game. They'll like it, but only if you got quality feces. If you got black, acrid, shit smelling crap. Oh, I hate crap, that when that happens. That's not yeah. that not approved. Oh my god, not approved. It's got to be because I I shit essentially and it's odorless. I've achieved. I don't that, believe I have that. Achieved that level. I don't believe that for I've one achieved second. Achieved that level. This is you on the toilet. <laughs> I'm shitting and throwing up at the same time. <laughs> I have that. No, you, you want to. I want to do it. Or, or if it does say okay, if it does have a smell, it just smells like decaying matter which is essentially what it is sounds horrendous sounds exactly well what no I... there's different because sometimes shit smells like this person is so sick right yeah, now yeah. and it's just it's that warm spicy smell not that i want a smooth like cool green smell oh we should we should record our shits we'll get the gopros so we'll right, put them in uh-huh. the toilet yeah get the gopro with the waterproof housing yeah put it in the toilet because this is what we we're talking about on the phone earlier <laughs> That you're talking, I actually called you while you were taking the shit. Yeah, yeah. And then I said, how many people out there do you think have a GoPro and have the waterproof housing casing for it and put in the toilet and shit on it? And I'm like, there's got to be. That's a genre people. I have never explored or there's even There's got to be over it. a thousand yeah. people have done that. Where would I look that up? Motherless.com? I don't know. Well, scat, there's scat tubes. Go on the scat, scat tubes. tubes. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. Are you That's, kidding? Th- I'm not joking. This is where I find scat videos. There's a scat tube website. <laughs> And usually a lot of them are German women that like to shit onto plates, and one was a cast iron pan. Really? I love that shit. Okay. Why would you lock me up? <laughs> You're a worthless human Scat being. Scat is like, dude, I look at my own poop. Although, granted, today I was very impressed by it. It was like, it yeah. looked like Mount, Yeah. Uh, what's that mountain on Mars? 
Olympians, Olympons. Dude, or you you ha- okay? You were like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Now you've been obsessed with outer space for <laughs> fucking like a, a two weeks ago. You started throwing out space knowledge. I'm like, where are you getting this shit at? Now you're talking about mountains on Mars. Yeah, it's the biggest mountain in the universe or in our solar system. What do you know for real? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's all fake anyway. I'm sure it's not real. No, okay, okay. Well, yeah, or just say Mount Everest, because who knows about mountains on fucking Mount Mars. Everest looks like nothing compared to Mount... Is it Olympus or Olympus Mons, I think? Somebody comment. I don't remember Olympus, what it is. I think it's called Olympus Mons. Venus Mons is Jupiter. No, no, no. The one on, Mar- one on Mars is the biggest mountain in our solar system. Interesting. It okay. makes Mount Everest look like a micro penis. Let's put it to that. So that's why you like it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's why I don't like it. But you don't. I thought you liked micro phalluses. Right, because it doesn't remind me of a micro penis. Oh, I see. Right, get it? So you like big dicks, really? <laughs> now I'm confused on that joke. <laughs> Never mind. I'm <laughs> like I'm like Steve O <laughs> with that Adam Friedman. Right. <laughs> you really are. I'm gonna have to go on a. You're tour. like Joe Rogan with every comedian ever. Yeah, right. I'm gonna have to go like on this cleanup tour because I can't get jokes. It's like, oh, I'm going to do a podcast. I'm going to interview everyone as if it's the most serious subject yeah. on the face of You're the You're the Joe Rogan of our show. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. That was a Joe Rogan, uh, Harlan Williams moment right, right. there. Really 100%. Was. Really was. Because I, I still don't even get that joke. I might have to decipher that later. Think about it. Then I'm you... going to have to go on Twitter or X <laughs> and be like, okay, guys, uh, I'm going to like make this huge dissertation about it. How I'm funny and I get it, you know? Like, <laughs> it's going to be a clean Just court. You'll get it if you look at a size comparison of – Mount Everest. Okay. Olympus Mons, right? Yeah. I'm, not, I mean, I'm interested with this Olympus Mons. I'm because I want really that's massive. Because Mount Olympus is where the gods in Greek mythology live. Yeah. So yeah, I like that shit. So you know what's creepy about Mars is it was just like Earth maybe a billion years ago. Yeah, I know. that's creepy. To yeah, because here's the thing: when you talk about a biblical flood, the only place in our solar system that shows evidence of a, of a total worldwide flood would be Mars. Really. Yeah. I mean, so does this Earth, but in all reality, think about it. This planet is completely, Mars is completely wiped out. Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't know why Elon has so much interest in Mars anyway. I yeah. mean, like, they go, oh, we got we to gotta get to Mars. We got to get to Mars. And it's like, that's well, a it's a desert tundra. Well, here's the thing, too. Is is, it is. Is stop bullshitting the public and think you're going to get there with fucking rockets. It's, it would, it's, would be impossible. You need anti-gravity, electrogravitic. The worst thing about Mars, that's only, and they, they have to have that. It's the only way it would work. You couldn't take a rocket to Mars. It's stupid. It would be a waste of time. It's deadly. It's too long. The worst thing about Mars is the radiation. It has a very thin atmosphere. That's why it lost all, all its water. Mm-hmm. You would die instantly on Mars due to the radiation. Well, dude, you ever see that big ripple valley that goes through Mars? Because that's either, A, where there could have been a nuclear war yeah. in back in who knows what times, or also, two, when Jupiter ejected venus out of its vagina and it came out of zeus as a fiery comet yeah. and cooked m- scraped off of mars made this complete huge ridge came by earth boiled the seas and then is the uh you know second planet in from the sun yeah so who knows i mean who knows there's so many possibilities because you have an ancient alien angle where people think of the, the like spaceships and they had nukes and all this crazy technology or you have the ovid metamorphosis route where the gods could turn into anything and do anything, and, but there's also evidence for that. There's evidence for all of it, so who knows? The and thing- then you got Neil deGrasse Tyson's over here who are like, I am going to go by <laughs> mainstream academia and read peer-reviewed papers and talk about all this shit. Where, where have you been listening to this shit? For? You probably listen to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, I mean, I have. I, can't, I, can't I used st- to like it, like, say, 20 years ago before I, I realized he was anymore. a huge douchebag idiot. Yeah, I know. He's got such a weird... Um- and this is where he's I an mean, arrogant with, fuck with, with, you know, with COVID and all yeah. the gender stuff. It's kind of exposed that your academics and your elites yeah, exactly. are right. Like on one hand, they're so knowledgeable on one <laughs> subject matter uh-huh. given, let's say with him, it's, you know, space and astrophysics or yeah, whatever. Right. Uh, and then when it comes to, well, are, are there boys and girls? He's like, oh, well, there's <laughs> gender many giants. I, I, yeah. Oh, he's such a, I know. Cause it's just a got, groveling weasel. Yeah, I know. Guy. I hate that shit. Yeah, and then they're just like, no, you can only be peer review. But what about the papers that show that up to seven percent of peer review papers are falsified? What about that evidence, you fucking idiot? Like it gets, they get. So, well, the the problem they're arrogant. is they're arrogant and cocky. It's so annoying. I can't the, take it. In spite of their intellect, they're all, but they're still susceptible to politics, and that's the issue at right. hand, right? Yeah. We've seen that with yep. COVID, like yeah. the so-called experts, right? 
they're all still going to abide by the political ramifications. Right, yeah. And uh, well, dude, if you if you're smart enough to be an expert astrophysicist, you should be smart enough to decipher BS political shit for an agenda yeah. versus what is actually good for public health and safety. Yeah. You know, when you fall around with that, it's just like you you've lost me. Yeah. You've lost me. Because I've seen him even to discuss the vaccines, and he's like, oh yeah, he's like, it, it, no, because he goes to. It should be a consensus. There should be a consortium yeah. of doctors that make a consensus for everyone on the planet for, say, anything right. experimental. It's ridiculous. I do. Yeah, that guy used to be cool like 20 years ago or 15 years ago. He had that show about the planets and shit. It was then, just that was just a reboot of Carl Sagan's show. Yeah, from yeah the 70s. right. Exactly. And Carl Sagan was a shit bag, too. Because yeah. well, he was he was like, say, kind of deep on the esoteric shit. And then they set him straight, and then he would just trash Velikovsky and trash all these people. And it's like, fuck you, dude. I love how we talked about. It was shit. <laughs> I know. Trannies, uh, sissies. Yeah, right. And then we <laughs> talked about Mars. We actually went slow. We transitioned that really... somehow to like deep, deep academia somehow. That was odd. <laughs> that, was, that was such a weird one. Like, it just went everywhere. I know. That really did. This is great about our show. You I know. know for so real. Talk about, you know, I hope that the people that do watch this shit, this is what they watch. Are you guys time. recognizing our genius? No shit, you fucking All idiots. Right? My God. Please, I, I, think, I think there's at least a couple of people out there that have to.